Hi, fans of high quality entertainment. Uh, I, I was just uh, checking my Patreon. Uh, I just posted uh, Jack White Seven Nation Army live. And then uh, the Marshall Tucker Band. Bell and Sebastian, or is it Belly and B Sebastian? I don't know. The Smirks. Jimmy Buffett is, uh, you know, rest in peace, Jimmy. He has a new song, though, that I listened to. Alan Hull. Fug Fugazi, is that how you pronounce it? The Residents. Couple Built to Spill. MGMT, Wolf Alice, The Rolling Stone. Yeah, that's when I did my uh, reaction. Full album uh, review or reaction for POW. Stephen Wilson, Impossible Tightrope. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about my Patreon that I hope you check out and join you can you can join for one week for free with over i think we ha i have over 300 reactions now but i am stuck with what to do for a video and i honestly never really am uh you know there might be the odd day where i can't think of anything i just don't post a video but i want to do a video today and I can't think of anything. So I'm going to check out, maybe I can get an idea from another channel. Like I bookmarked uh, Beetley Tones. Uh, Beetley Tones, Beatles channel. Let's see what he, his latest video is about. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Beatley Tones, Beatles channel. Lovely to have you here. Thanks for joining me for this video, and I hope you're all doing well. Now, the other day, I was watching a video made by my good friend Larry Graves on his Canadian Stud Muffin channel, which, uh, if you don't know, uh, it's a fantastic uh, channel. Larry's a big Beatles fan. He does a lot of Beatles-related videos. He does lots of videos on other artists as well. He does comedy stuff. He's just a very creative guy and he's got a great channel so if you love the sky know, please check it out anyway on his channel he had he was playing the age-old game of trying to whittle down uh the beatles white album into one fantastic single okay. disc album uh this that's great tony but that's not helping me out to, for a video to do today but but thank you for copying my idea my original idea that nobody else had ever thought of before The prod corner. Let's see what the prod corner is doing here. Let's see his latest video. First 10 bands I fell in love with. Greetings, salutations, respect, and love. I am Scott, and you, my dear friends, are in the prod corner. Welcome. Today, we are going to do something that I, uh, an idea I stole from the Canadian stud muffin, the great Larry Graves. Uh, I'm doing the first 10 bands that I fell in love with. I love Great Scott. idea, so I thought I'd steal it. Um, steal I do it. have my air conditioner guy here today, so my dogs are freaking out every time he's making noise. So you're probably going to hear some barking in the background, but you know, who who cares it's all good uh yeah i am giving larry graves credit here because uh you know i get sick and tired of thinking of these really good ideas for episodes and then a couple days later i go on youtube and i see you know a whole bunch of videos stolen from my idea hey man i don't care just give me credit man okay i'm gonna steal one of scott's videos today let's see let's get one of his ideas uh videos I don't listen to prog radio. It's not my birthday today. 10, el 10 albums I hate it, but now I love. That's a pretty good one. I don't have a major announcement. I, I want to rank the Moody Blues. Scott's uh, video is excellent. Uh, ranking Zappa albums, I've done that. What can I steal here? My 10 most played it records. Gee, that sounds familiar, Scott. <laughs> oh, 20, 25 perfect prog albums. 
I don't know if I have 25 pro I, I probably do. But I could do 10 perfect prog albums. That's going to be my video for today. My original idea that I thought of. So I'll be back. I'll uh I'll edit this video. I got to do got to go get my laundry out of the dryer. But you don't really need to know know that and then I'll be back and I'm going to show you what I feel are 10 perfect prog albums. Thank you. And I'm back. I even changed my shirt. This is my favorite shirt. Uh, so I've kind of changed my mind a little bit. What I've done instead, I'm going to show you what I feel are 12 perfect classic rock albums, as you probably could tell from the title of this video. You knew before I did. <laughs> And I'm not going to rank them in any order because, you know, I think I have more than 12, what I feel are perfect uh, classic rock albums. And some of them I'm going to show a second album that maybe some fans love more than the one I've, I've picked. But there's a reason why I don't feel it's a perfect album. For instance, some of you might be a, a big fan of Bio Country by Creedence Clearwater Revival. I love it. The only thing with this album is I find Graveyard Train to be a a bit boring. You know, it's doom, 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 doom for like, how long is that? Yeah, over eight minutes. It kind of drags a bit for me. But otherwise, I love this. I feel what is a perfect classic rock album by Credence Clearwater Revival is Cosmos Factory. Ramble Tamble, my favorite CCR song. Before You Accuse Me, Traveling Band, Ooby Dooby, Looking Out My Back Door. I used to not like Run Through the Jungle, but now I do. And uh, Up Around the Band, My Baby Left Me. Who'll stop the rain? I heard it through the grapevine, and of course, long as I can see the light. A perfect classic rock album. Now, for David Bowie, a lot of you would probably choose Ziggy Stardust as a perfect album. I love it. But I feel, um, yeah, it ain't easy. It isn't as strong as the other songs on the album for me. But besides that, it's an awesome album. My favorite, or, well, he has more than one perfect album. But one perfect album by David Bowie for me is Station to Station. Station to Station, Golden Years, Word on a Ring, TVC15, Stay, and Wild is the Wind. Now for Bob Dylan, I think he has a few... Pretty damn good, perfect albums. But the one I always mention that I love the most is Slow Train Coming. I even love, uh, God, uh, yeah, Man Gave Names to All the Animals, which is a children's song, but it's catchy, and I think it's uh, a nice song. So I always enjoy it. Getting a little crazy here with a band and their debut album, my favorite of theirs, Devo. Question, are we not men? Answer, we are Devo. Yeah, I think at first I didn't really care for Side 2 as much when, when this came out, but now I love the, the whole album. Uncontrollable Urge, I Can't Get No Satisfaction, Praying Hands, Space Junk, Mongoloid, Jocko Homo, uh, Too Much paranoias, uh, gut feeling, come back, Joni, sloppy, I saw my baby getting, and shrivel up. Now this Grand Funk album is my favorite of theirs, Survival, but it's not perfect because, uh, yeah, I Want Freedom is, is good, but it's not one of my favorite Grand Funk songs. And then there's like Two or three minutes of studio chatter, which is interesting to hear 
you know, the first time or second time, but then I, and I don't like skipping anything on an album when I'm listening to it all. So it's like, I got to listen to this <laughs> studio chatter every time, but it's still my favorite album, but a perfect grand funk album for me is grand funk also known as the red album got this thing on the move please don't worry highfalutin woman mr limers Lim mr. mr limousine driver in need winter in my soul paranoid and inside looking out now for some bands they've had perfect albums in a row and this band i feel had yeah three three perfect albums in a row but i've chosen their third blue oyster cult secret treats uh career of evil subhuman dominance and submission probably my favorite blue oyster cult track me 262 kg credence Harvester of Eyes, Flaming Telepaths, and Astronomy. Now, for Lou Reed, The Bells is one of my favorite Lou Reed albums. But I can't really totally, even now, get into side... Like, I love side one. It might be my favorite Lou Reed side. Uh, and side two, I, I, I like it more than I used to, but still not as much as side one. Yeah, all through the night, families and the bells. But what I feel is a perfect Lou Reed album. I think Glenn Kellaway from The Basement would disagree, though. <laughs> is Coney Island Baby. The very first Lou Reed album I ever bought. Uh, crazy Feeling... Charlie's Girl, She's My Best Friend, Kicks, A Gift, Ooh Baby, Nobody's Business, and Coney Island Baby. I think we're almost done. Now, for Paul McCartney, Ram, but uh, it's in my big box set of Ram, and so I was looking at my, you know, just my small CDs. And, oh, that's another one that's just perfect to me. Wings, London Town. I love every song. London Town, Cafe on the Left Bank, I'm Carrying, Backwards Traveler, Cufflink, Children, Children, Girlfriend, I've Had Enough, With a Little Luck, Famous Groupies, Deliver Your Children, Name and Address. Don't Let It Bring You Down, Morse Moose and the Grey Goose, which is such an underrated song. Love it. And speaking of Prague, I think Scott would agree with me. And there's more than one. Well, maybe, maybe not. But this one is perfect. Yes, Relayer with only three songs. The Gates of Delirium, Sound Chaser, and to be over. I didn't even have to look. Another perfect album for me. My favorite Talking Heads album. Fear of Music. I Zimbra. Mind. Paper. Cities. Life During Wartime. Memories Can't Wait. Air. Heaven. Animals. Electric Guitar. And Drugs. Two to go. Now, for Captain Beefheart, some might think Trope Mask Replica is a perfect album. And the songs are. I love the songs. It's just, and I don't mind the poetry, you know, the spoken word. But uh, I'd rather just listen to the songs, you know. Uh, so it's not a perfect album for me. But Shiny Beast, Bat Chain Puller, and also the original are perfect. The Floppy Boot Stomp, Tropical Hot Dog Night, Ice Rose, Harry Irene, You Know You're a Man, probably my favorite Beefheart song. Uh, Bat Chain Puller, When I See Mummy, I Feel Like a Mummy, 
Ode to Alex, Candle Mambo. Yeah, uh, Love Lies, I, I never used to like, but now I do. And Suction Prince and Ape Smile. And to end it, let's get a little heavy, man. Uh, this is one of my favorite Black Sabbath albums, but I've never really been a big fan of Sa Sabra Cadabra. I don't know why, but otherwise, this would be maybe number one. But number one for me, I feel a, is a perfect album, is the Upside Down Black Sabbath Sabotage. Yeah, I even love the, uh, you know, with the choir, the really weird song, Super, I don't know how you pronounce that, Superstar. But I love that. And Am I Going Insane Radio? The writ is awesome. And Megalomania, Symptom of the Universe, probably my favorite Sabbath song. I'm having trouble talking, as you can tell. But yeah, that's it. I finally had an idea for a video. I thank myself for the great idea. Uh, yeah, and be sure to check out uh, the Prog Corner and uh, Beatly Tones Beatles channel. Two awesome channels. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.